Fix Overactivated Slime oh. slash old slimes. Um, this is not for dried slimes. So if you guys want to fix a dried slime, go watch a different video because this is not how to fix dried slimes. This is just how to fix slimes that were overactivated or old. As you can see this slime. The slime is like two months old and it's really overactivated um, so first what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your slime is still pokeable you know like at least it's changes a little bit and you're going to grab your hot water and after you put the hot water in your little bowl you're going to make sure the sun, the water though is not boiling because once you start kneading you don't want to burn yourself so first you're going to just let it you know kind of disintegrate in there shake it around a little bit wait for the water to get a bit cloudy okay so once your um water is to a moldable, uh, I mean, uh, not burning, um, feel, you can take your slime out and start kneading it in, your slime in with the water, and it only works with slime that was made with actual goo bases, uh, I don't know about shampoo slime or anything like that, so I don't think that will work. If, it ha if your slime contains soap, um, just like soap, like it's soap slime, no glue added, no activator, then I suggest you don't try this out because um, it won't come back to its original form. Anyways, um, so you're going to just run that in. So once, so you're gonna knead that in, and every time you knead it in, it'll get stretchier. Every time, and then you're going to just knead it in, like so. It will be more goopy. So if it gets stringy, like what's happening here, keep kneading. It'll go back together. Um, shortly okay so my slime is almost jiggly so we're going to replace it with some more hot water and we're going to dip the slime back into the hot water wait for it to disintegrate <coughs> sort of um, so you're just going to cover the top, wait for it to melt a bit more, and we're going to knead it. If your water is too hot and it won't cool down, then you can um, just use a stick and stir it. Um, usually that's what I suggest. Um, so I'm just going to keep dipping it in. If you're used to hot water on your hands, then feel free to just go in directly after you put the hot water in. I'm kind of used to it, but I'm just tr telling you guys, be careful. Um, so this will make your slime glossy as well and jiggly. So just in case. So we're just going to knead it in the hot water like this. It will get stringy. Don't worry about that. Just keep pulling it up and dropping it back in. As you can see, it will have a stringy kind of deforming um, look to it. It will 
super be super duper soupy kind of gross but and then that and then you're gonna grab your hands and mix it in and when you mix you will notice it coming back together and so you're going to need that and so there you go you have some jiggly slime but other than that your slime has been restored to its full on glory just jigglier um so i added way too much water to mine so it's really jiggly um don't add too much water or it will not be restored at all super crunchy i really love it you guys i'll be right back okay i need to get some stop at like 12 a.m. so you know so here's my slime um you could after this you can custom if your slime is just white and it did well this works better when their slime has no beads add-ins or color so then the water won't discolor your slime or like um yeah because it makes the slime horrible if it has beads so, oh come on! Okay, you guys, I'm so sorry. My tripod is too wobbly. Apparently. Or is it just my surface is too, you know. But, anyways, I'm gonna add some um, coloring into mine. Some soap. So I have this peachy soap color. This stuff is so, like it smells so good. So I just started to add it into slime. It will make it a bit sticky, but I mean, do anything for the scent, y'all. My activator is in another room, so I'm just not going to. As you can see though, the slime is super jiggly glossy and squishy if you add more activator to yours afterwards it will kind of restore it to a thicker texture but it will also kind of be jiggly um i get really uncomfortable by adding um i get really uncomfortable adding activator after i restore my slime to a jiggly because then afterwards it would feel sort of like a um it would feel really weird like um it'd be like hard but it's like jiggly so it'd like be kind of uncomfortable to play with so um but if your slime gets too sticky feel free to add your activator i'm in a different room yeah earlier i was in my bathroom setting um, anyways, on your tables, you can see it leave a watery residue, like, a little bit. But to you, if that matters too much, you can try fixing that by adding more glue. But, um, I don't really suggest that. As you can see, it makes the table darker. Okay, anyways, okay. So much music outside. Oh, my ears. My poor ears. Okay, I'm gonna add some, like, um, you know, artificial snow to it. It won't be cloud slime completely, just adding a little bit, because I just want to. My ears are burning. 
but okay, that's fine. As long as I don't die, then I'm good. As you can see, the coloring made it in cute, like, ivory color, and not just a plain old white. Um, as you can see, you can't really see it, but it is a really cute ivory color. On camera, it looks more whitish, but yeah, it's really cute. I'm pretty much, like, I live for this, like, it's so nice. Super stretchy, really crunchy. Pokeable. So time to do some asthma. I also forgot to mention that this slime is really smooth, it's glossy, um, and it melts really fast, so just in case you want to do an asthma video and you're too impatient to wait for your slime to melt, this takes a bit, it's not as like long of a waiting process for it to melt than regular thick slimes. So, I do suggest you, um, fix your slimes this way. You can add lotion instead of water, and that will kind of just keep it thicker. But I love it as a jiggly, so you can add water. And goodbye, my fading cats.